Hello, everybody. Hope you're doing well. Um, so as you come in, uh, please change your display name as shown so that uh, we can get a feel for the ideas that we're working on here as we go through this program. And um, as she said, I uh, help small businesses with various elements of branding and marketing uh, through my business, which is Quill Power Agency. And I come from a background of English literature uh, and writing. <clears throat> I have my master's in creative writing from uh, San Francisco. <clears throat> and then for a while, I lived the uh, creative writer life and was a uh, craft mixologist working in Richmond, Virginia. And in that same city, I became a um, city public school teacher teaching seventh grade English, which uh, it's hard to argue against that being the hardest person uh, age level to teach. And through all that time, I have been uh, a novelist, which means I have focused very deeply on character and story and story development and how to talk to an audience. And so all that background turned into my business, which I started um, just before COVID, as a matter of fact, got out of teaching and uh, the restaurant industry in uh, fall of 2019, and I've uh, been building it ever since. All right, so uh, in this webinar, we'll be talking about a few things, uh, all centering around one key element. And so the idea will be you can understand how brands connect, build trust, and persuade people to choose them and learn how to frame and define your ideal customer. And this is for whether you have a current business and you're growing or launching a new startup or pitching new funds. And you'll be able to master the basic foundation of all your brand development, marketing and communications going forward. So this is sort of a, an axle around which everything turns. Okay, so uh, let's... Uh, figure out who we are and where we are in our business journey. And since there's only a few of us in here, we can just uh, introduce ourselves a little bit out loud. Um, I'm not seeing names on this. Oh, here we go. Okay. Uh, so Stacy, why don't you unmute yourself and uh, tell us uh, your idea and where you're at with it? Oh, okay. I um, am a site mentor. Good morning. I'm a site mentor. Or good afternoon, sorry. Site mentor for the rainforest. So I work with lots and lots of clients and small businesses that are starting businesses. Uh, my background is in marketing, though, so I'm always anxious to hear about new ideas. And uh, I send you my well wishes that you taught seventh graders. Are you out of your mind? <laughs> oh, my goodness. So anyways, I've got lots of, it's funny, a lot of us do this. We are site mentors and help small businesses. But I, we're always coming up with new ideas ourselves on ideas for businesses. So I've got some things I'd like to work on. I haven't figured out all of them yet, but but Perfect. so that's why I'm just more open to hear your ideas. So great. Well, welcome. Thank uh, you. Let's hear from Chris. Uh, hi, um, my name is Chris O'Donnell. I'm with Three Sisters Kitchen. Uh, background in marketing, branding, and environmental design, and here to see uh, what you have uh, to offer and brush up on. Awesome. And you know what, guys, I, I thought there were only four people because I had my, uh, my Zoom uh, in the wrong format. Uh, so we won't have time to go through everybody. But um, if you have a chance, go into your renaming. Mm -hmm and tell us your name and what you do in your name. All right, and so in the chat, please share the number where you're at. And this is not the uh, necessary order for where you're at. Like you could have your business up and running and be going back and reconceptualizing a product, or you could be creating a brand with a product that's already ready to go. Uh, so not necessarily this order, and tell us what your uh, numbers are so we get a feel. Okay. 
All right. So we're all. Yeah. Yeah, this is Chuck. I'm trying to find where the chat icon is and I can't find it here. Um, if you uh, are you, you're on a, a laptop or a computer. Yeah. Oh, I see it now. Yeah. So it was just getting, up. I got it. I got it. Yeah. And for anyone else, if you just uh, roll up on your cursor, uh, that menu will pop up and you can uh, do the participants and all that. All right. So what is all this about? So how much thought have you put into who it is that you're helping with what it is that you do, whether it's your business or your outreach or whoever comes to you for help? How much, when you're building your systems, how much have you thought about that person? And the way you enter these again is uh, get up on that menu. Sorry. And you can enter your Zoom response. Paul, well, I don't know if I know what ICA means. Ah. That's right. I uh, put in an acronym before I explained it. Well, we'll get to that in a moment. Sorry about that. Classic. All right. So what is it that makes marketing effective? The best marketing is all about depicting a hero's journey story. And what that is, is we all know this framework. Uh, the hero has to achieve something or has to um, get to a place or dispose of the ring. And they face all sorts of obstacles along the way. and through that uh, journey, we reveal the hero's character and we figure out what makes them work. And the reason that's important is that story is how we engage with the audience's emotions, whether up or down. And we use story to show that we understand what they're going through to build trust. And story is how humans organize our experience in life. And so a well-organized story um, more deeply imprints in people's memory and um, your brand sticks as a whole entity. And then perhaps most important story is how people are persuaded. So people make decisions based on emotions that they feel. And so even when you're talking about facts and figures or showing data, it's still about the emotional connection that they have with that data. So for example, if you're selling solar, uh, one piece of data you might show is how many thousand pounds of carbon you save each year by switching to solar. So that gives an emotional jolt when you see that it's several thousand pounds per year. Uh, and storytelling is how we start at a negative feeling point or lack and then bring it up through our positive solutions. So the hero of your story, though, in, when it comes to business and branding, isn't you. It's your customer. And so this is all about seeing through their eyes and showing them a mirror that depicts their journey to something better. And so this character is called the ideal customer avatar, which I will shorten to ICA. And this is a, a profile that depicts the person that you want most walking into your uh, storefront, whether it's online or physical. What storytelling is at its heart is strategic emotional connection. So every story starts the audience at one place and leads them to another place and then leads them to another place and so forth, depending on how complex the story is and whether it's an upper or a downer kind of story. Uh, and what are the two simplest, deepest emotions? Um, Nancy, what's a guess? One guess. Um, fear? Fear and another guess from Carmen. Missing out. Missing out. Connecting that FOMO. So I would say fear and desire are the two most basic, deepest emotions. And uh, fear connects to our survival. Desire connects to our growth. And uh, to connect that to my own personal uh, experience, I 
work from home and I write a lot. So I'm sitting at my desk a lot. And I noticed that I was sitting with one leg folded under the other and it was causing my spine to sit like a, like an S. And I started really worrying about my posture and my, my back and the muscles in my back were all tight and started worrying about how that was going to affect me as I continued in my life as a writer. And so I set out for solutions and asked a friend of mine what he did because he's an accountant he's also at home a lot and he said he has this ergonomic stool and i tried it out and sat on it and it was so comfortable and my back was straight and it felt so good and this just in, built and built this desire that i had to fix my posture and sit on something that was more comfortable than you know like a, a rolling ball that would escape me and so i went online and the price was way more than i would usually pay for something but I had been thinking about my spine and I think about how comfortable it was. And so I bought the damn thing. And so that's basically how fear and desires work when it comes to marketing. All right. So uh, in marketing and branding, we tap into these basic emotions through what we call pain points and aspirations or goals. And um, customers may not always know everything that's bothering them or everything that they want to gain. And so it's your job to teach them all the little <clears throat> more subtle things that they might not think about on their own. So the purpose of pain points is to grab their attention. You know, they'll see, okay, back pain. All right, fixed back pain. Now I know that, okay, this is something that I'm working on. Show what's at stake. So maybe you have a picture of a spine that's bent uh and connect their experience so describe 10 hours at a desk frantically pounding away at a keyboard uh, for this webinar the pain points might be that you have short time and budget you might be overwhelmed with the amount of stuff it takes to build and grow a business and you might not know exactly where to begin even if you know what you want to do whereas aspirations are there to inspire their imagination to get them thinking and picturing about what this life might be like if they could fix these issues it also confirms their search aligns desire with action and so for this webinar uh you might want to master the magic behind all marketing and if you're feeling oh simplify organize and focus your work and you might want to understand your next strategy steps wherever you're at in your business outreach. And you'll notice that these two play into each other to some large degree. So if you are feeling short on time and budget, it might sound good to spend one hour to learn what it is that's at the core of all successful marketing. If you're feeling overwhelmed, the first thing you want to do is simplify and organize. And if you're not sure where to begin, well, in this webinar, you're going to learn what you're going to do next. All right, so if you're taking notes, draw a seesaw. And on the left side, you're going to write two to three pain points. On the right side, two to three aspirations. And take a minute just to jot these down. Even if you're not using paper, just write them in whatever notes you're taking uh, in columns or one on top of the other. Uh, so take one minute to write two to three of each. And if you have any questions, uh, you can type them in the chat or ask me um, directly while everyone's writing for a minute. Anybody need more time? All right, seeing none. So how you use these two different elements against each other or with each other will depend on what it is that you're selling or marketing. It will depend on who your audience is. Uh, so some people are more motivated by fear. Some people are turned off by that kind of tactic. Um, and also where uh it is that you're putting it so like an instagram ad for example you only get a line and a half of text so it has to be very quick and short so you can't have a whole bunch of stuff all right so as we build out this profile i want you to think about this person and give them a name in your head 
um, and then write down five characteristics that are relevant to what it is that you do for people. So these are some examples, but uh, it's not limited to this. And um, maybe you don't have a specific age range, but you know that age is a factor, or you know that um, these are the people you serve have a family that they're thinking about a lot. Um, could be uh, like, so for this webinar, for example, age doesn't matter. Your gender expression doesn't matter. Um, down, down, down onto finances budget. So this is the community program, right? So that doesn't matter. Um, values and social concerns, you want to connect with your audience. You might want to build community. Um, so someone who is selling women's shoes, for example, gender expression does matter. And so that would be something to write down. Any questions on that stuff so far? Right, seeing none. All right, so why does it matter if you understand the pain points, goals, and characteristics of the people that you're serving? And I want to hear uh, two responses. So volunteer or I'll volunteer. So this is this is Karen. I would can you hear me? I can hear you. Thank you. I would guess that it would be helpful for me to then develop solutions with them. Great. Anyone else? All right, let's hear from Hannah. I'm sure. So I um it's not my company, but I am with a nonprofit for mountain biking in Albuquerque. So understanding, uh, we lead group rides. So understanding what type of rider um, that we can portray to in the city, whether we need to have rides more for like kids and beginner riders or reaching out and getting rides for more advanced riders as well. So just understanding what type of group is more interested in having rides um, or yeah, would prefer yeah. to ride by themselves. Another perfect answer, yeah. So like categorizing for different levels of service is, yeah, perfect. And here's one more why, is that all these uh, essential basic details about your ideal customer avatar come together into the foundation of all your marketing and brand strategy. So these will help you create a brand story and voice that speaks directly to your audience. So if you're serving, um, you know, kids applying to college, that would be a different language from whether you're serving, um, you know, a group of older veterans, right? Um, to focus down which platforms you're actually going to spend time or money on. Um, so again, if you are um, talking about kids in college, you're not going to spend a lot of money on Facebook ads. But if you're talking about older veterans, then you might be. It'll allow you to pick a name for your brand and a logo and a look that will really match your audience, whether those are bright colors or more subdued sort of calming colors, um, a simple logo, um, you know, a brand name that connects into something relevant to their life and so forth. It'll also let you build a more deep connecting website experience and flow. So for example, with the mountain biking, uh, you might be able to have three different options, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. They get right to your homepage, click into whatever they are, and then that gives them a few different options uh, within their range. And on your website, you'll have better SEO because you'll be able to step into their head and think about what it is that they're searching. So um, someone might be going in and saying beginners mountain biking for kids, or it might be, um, intermediate mountain biking, um, no kids, something like that. So you'll be able to come up where most relevant. And then also these three elements, uh, triangulate into the most important factor of all marketing, which is the benefits. So these are how you develop your benefits, and uh, the, that is how you really connect. So the benefits are a little bit different from features. So features are um, what actually comes with the product or the service that you're offering. So like um, a one-hour webinar, 
uh, a video recording and assessment um, and uh, Q&A time with a brand expert, brand and marketing expert. Now those things all become benefits and benefits is where you really persuade people. So features are what they get, benefits are what they gain. Benefits are how your customer's life changes with your help. And so we start, as we've been talking about, by empathizing with um, the, their life that they're living, their lived experience, uh, the struggles and hopes. And then we show them depictions of the better life that lies ahead. And I am leading a small workshop next month about uh, getting deeper into your benefits and um, figuring out how to best connect with the people for a given product or brand. Uh, and if you're interested, you can email me about it. And so what comes next? All right, so after this, uh, there's a short feedback form and you fill that out and I'll send you my 25 point brand and marketing strategy checklist, which lists through the um, elements that you'll need to at least think about and plan ahead as you build out whatever it is you're doing. And then go back through these prompts and add more to your um, ideal customer avatar brainstorms and start building out your full-on profile. And put your this profile into a Google Doc is what I like to use. Uh, some people like to use ClickUp or um, draw it out by hand, uh, whatever is your best method where you can keep it organized and keep adding to it. And after this, if you are interested, you can sign up for a, a half hour call with me one-on-one uh, -on -one to go over um, the stuff you learned and your brainstorms and connect those into uh, what comes next as you build and grow. Um, and then, of course, email me if you're interested in that workshop.